Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First of all, I give all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son in the Paleo-Hebrew. Today I'll be doing a lesson on giants and how tall they were. My first verse I'd like to hit is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verse 1 through 4. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle and were gathered together at Shoko, which belongs to Judah, and pitched between Shoko and Azekah in Ephesadim. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elit and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side. And there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath. Now, if you know anything about the Bible or about Goliath, you would know that he was tall, a giant, whose height was six cubits and a span. Now, most people, now we don't use that measurement anymore today, at least in Babylon the Great, which is America. But through the power of the Most High, Putting it in this app, we can understand what it was talking about. Our, so this is what a cubit is. Strong's H520. Emma. Emma. A measure of distance, roughly 18 inches. There are several cu There are several cubits used in the Old Testament. The cubit of a man or common cubit. The legal cubit or cubit of the sanctuary, plus others. See a Bible dictionary for a complete treatment. All right, so we know that a cubit is 18 inches, and Goliath, and Goliath was six cubits long. So six times 18 is 108. And divide that by 12, you get nine inches. But it said... I'm going to read it again. Whose height was six cubits, so nine inches, and a span. Now, let's see what a span means. Sarakia. Strong's H2239. Zerath. Zerath. Span. A unit of measure. Approximately half a cubit. Or the distance of... The thumb to the little finger on an outstretched hand. So it would be half a cubit. So that would, so if we know a cubit is 18 inches and half, a, so that means half a cubit would have to be nine inches. So Goliath, the giant Philistine, was nine feet and nine inches, which is not that big considering we were bigger back in the ancient world. So he would have probably been like around Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal's uh, height. Consi considered in that time. Next verse I'd like to hit is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 3, verse 11. We'll start at verse 8. And we took, and we took, a, and we took at that time out of the hand of of the two kings of the Amorites, the land that was on this side, Jordan, from the river of Aaron unto Mount Hermon, which Hermon the Sidonians call Shirayon, and the Amorites called it Shinir. And the cities of the plain, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, unto Chalaka, and Idri. Cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan. For the for only Og king of Bashan remained of the remained of the remnant of giants. Behold, his bedstead. Alright, this is a giant's bedstead. So his bed. And normally we know that a bed has to be bigger than a person. Just so it could fit in it. His bedstead was at was a bedstead of iron. It is not it is it not in Rebath of the children of Ammon, 
9 cubits was the length of it, and 4 cubits the breadth of it, after the cubit of a man. Now, we know that, we know what cubit is talking about, the cubit of a man, which is 18 inches. So, with all that math, it, the, with all that math, the length of it would be 13 inches and 5 feet. Salakia, 13 feet and 5 inches. And the breadth of it would be 6 inches. I hope y'all got edified on this lesson. I give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.